Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Uzulu Garage today. Today's video is going to be with Chemical Guys Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner. And it's supposed to have some, it's supposed to have some instant, powerful, acid free formula for safe all wheels cleaner. So basically, we're going to be doing these wheels right here on this F 150. Some nice wheels. They're not really trash. So it's kind of hard to find you know, tires that are trash to test out products. And actually on this truck, we're doing a full exterior detail on my buddy's F-150. All right, so it basically says, shake well, spray the citrus cleaner onto your wheel, barrels, spokes, wheels, whatever, brake parts too, and tire, and scrub with a wheel brush. Rinse for a spot-free shine. For best results, this is apply. Come on guys, wheel guard, we're not doing that. And it's a, it's a pH neutral formula. And what else we got? It says here it's supposed to cling fast. All right, it's supposed to um, it's a penetrating formula that grabs on the rims, tires to dissolve road grime and build up brake dust, oil, dirt, and more. That's what it says. It's a gel, fast acting. Yep, let's get going. You can use it on your undercarriage also. We could try it. We'll try it in the undercarriage right here. We'll see if we can get it cleaned up. I'll have to use the big brush, but check it out. I mean, we'll we'll do the first one with the. I'm gonna wet the wheel and then we'll spray it down. Then the back wheel, we'll try it and dry. I really don't want to scrub with it with a brush with the with this right here. With it's you know, with the kind of dry, not you know, have the lubrication with the water. You know what I mean? Because man, with these wheels, you use this whole dang bottle. You know, <laughs> and would that be worth it? Probably not. All right, let me grab my holes and uh, set up. All right. Probably just use simple green on these wheels. What do you guys think, huh? Simple green? Should we try one in this video? Why not? I'll try it out. So come out real good. Probably gonna use this whole thing. Shake it up nice. Oh, let's get the spray action. There you go. We'll get it in the brakes. Get up in there. Spray it up. Spray's good. Looks like an orange. Just like the color of the bottle. Duh. It's got like a citrus smell to it to me. I'll let it sit for a minute. And see how she does. At cleaning this up. Oh yeah, you're using the whole dang bottle. I'm gonna use this whole thing <laughs> on these wheels. Oh well, we'll get the wheels cleaned up for them and we'll get a video on them. All right. I need to invest in another more brushes for wheels. My one broke. I just was old and finally broke. Let's see. Now granted, these wheels are not trash, so. But it looks like it's cleaning pretty good. Man, it's cool out today too. We're only about 60 degrees. And um, this stuff's kind of drying up a little bit too. I'm noticing. But you're getting, we're getting soap out of it. All right. Let me see what else I got here. Where's my, my brush? Here we go. We'll get in here. These brushes work pretty good to get in these spots. Get it real good for him. Looks like it's cleaning up pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, definitely recommend wetting the wheel. For sure. I don't yeah, I'm not gonna do it on there dry. Yeah, definitely wet it up. That's not coming off. Let me grab my mitt for wheels oh there we go got the brush ain't gonna do it but that came right off that water spot still on there just have to get in here and really scrub them get in here a little bit with your microsoft mitt or towel just don't use it on your uh paint have one designated for wheels all right, let me rinse them off and then we'll try to think. See how it's drying? Check that out. 
Not bad. Clean it up pretty good. Alright. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna wet that again. Spray some more. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the 16 ounces, that's for sure. I don't know, it'll be worth buying it. I'll look it up, the price too. I forgot about it. When they had that open house, that detailed garage. I don't know. There's other products out there, cheaper, that will do the job too. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, after all the wheels are done. Now I'm not looking for the wheel hose to be perfect. We're just gonna clean it up for a little bit, make it look decent. He's getting a good deal on the on this uh, detailing. All right. Nice dog for parking. All right, I'm gonna do the other wheels. I'm not gonna put it on dry. And then we'll look at it. Maybe the one wheel on the other side we'll use simple green and compare it. It cleaned up pretty good. Alright, clean the wheel tires also with it. Sun's out, but it's not warm. Well, it's not hot. It's like 60. It foams up pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. It's not too bad. The product I haven't used a lot. Next tire, I'm gonna go simple green. Any of you guys use simple green on your wheels? I All right, do. next up, we'll do the wheel and we'll throw some simple green on it and see see what it looks like. I mean, honestly, too, if you're keeping your tire wheels maintained like this, man, you can just use your soap. I, I've done it for years, just like, you know, trying out some of these products for you guys to see if it's up to you guys if you like to use them or keep using a soap. I mean, products like this you probably will need if your the wheels are trashed a little bit. You're going to need something with more for cutting power for this uh, brake dust and stuff like that. That's just my opinion. You could probably get by. I mean, I did three wheels and I used the... I did use this, uh, I think I used this on the Weiss Jeep last week. So I did use a little bit. So that's a lot of product for only to get, you know, figure, let's say eight wheels done. That's, and these are pretty big too. So, I mean, would it be worth, worth the cost? And I'll look up the price of it at the, for the end of the video. And it's mainly depends on what you want to buy or try out before someone who maintains their vehicles, it might be worth it. And someone that, you know, detail rides all the time it's most likely not going to be good for them and i gotta fix this hose hang on a second sorry about that okay plus i gotta get going too i'll lose my light in a couple hours i'm gonna put this thing in the garage there we go simple green it i would dilute it Look at that, it's kind of, it's really on there, simple green. So this right here is simple green before you guys the detail all the time. Dilute it, you have more product. You can buy a jug of it for like five bucks. I need to buy the regular bottle, so I have it, so you know what, it's, what it is. And you can do your tires. Now tires too, I mean, I mean, come on, man. I mean, the only time the tires really, really get trash is when you're gonna be four wheel drive and you have mud all over it. I mean, tires, you're gonna get, they're get dirty. You're gonna get a little bit grime on there, oil, brake dust, stuff like that. And that's all in your dressing that's on there. And it, when you clean them, that's all you really need to do is knock out that stuff. You don't have to be damn scrub the hell out of them for an hour, you know? You don't, you really don't. I believe I got a comment before. You gotta find your dirty tires. Well, how, how dirty do tires actually get? Even if you don't put a dressing on them and clean them all the time, they really don't get that trash. Unless you're going out in some mud and then you're gonna get some trash tires. I don't know. That's what I think anyway. 
So you gotta work pretty quick with this stuff too. It dries pretty good. The sun's sitting this side, so I'm gonna have to reapply the product, which is no big deal. Look at that, it cleans pretty good, simple green. And it's Simple Greens Biogradable also. So this is basically a video to test out Sitch Frost against Simple Green. So, when you're using a product that's better for you, the environment. <laughs> this video pretty much turned into uh, a couple guys wheel cleaner against Simple Green. Oh, wow. Didn't plan on doing that, but I figured I'd show a couple different options for anybody that details all the time for a living or guys that just want to detail their own cars. It's basically, the simple green's a win win. Look at that. Yeah, they get in there real good. Yeah. Hopefully my audio is good. It's hard. This GoPro picks up the my voice here and there. I gotta hook up a mic or just start yelling at the camera. <laughs> Let me rinse that wheel off. Look at that. Look at the junk it came off. Simple game. Okay, all right, all done up for now. Clean it up with some guys wheel cleaner, citrus. Here you go, check them out. Not bad, came out pretty decent. Best way too to get in there with the brush, if you got, or if you have a better brush than I do, I gotta buy another one, is get in here with a designated marker, fiber, towel, and get in here and get in the barrel the best you can. Same thing inside there. In the wheel well, it's not perfect, got in and wipe it off. You can do it depends what you want you know you can get it clean pretty decent and just put a spray on there um that's what it looks like let's go look at the other side and we'll look at for the simple green on this side came out pretty good one thing i did notice it uh you had to you know, scrub a little bit more for the, the simple green and then uh and get it right here it cleans the tires decent now the chemical guys cleaner clean the tires a little bit cleaner not by much if you guys can see a little bit yeah but they look good enough they're clean enough for to put your dressing on there i mean you could spend hours you know trying to scrub your tire the simple green is cheaper um you can uh the only thing with super green it depends on your dil uh, dilution ratio uh mine's right now is like uh, 50 50 water and uh 50 percent uh the product simple green so you have to do the wheels maybe twice okay and you have to play with your solution but um yeah all right and let me real quick let me look up that price i bought it a while ago let me look up the price for the chemical guys hang on guys okay the chemical guys this is 10 bucks so if you get it on sale you can get it cheaper but that's how much i use basically use three tires on the truck so we use simple green on the one so basically man it's not gonna last long it's really not so it's up to you guys but in my opinion i would be cheap and be better off going with simple green you know um you just have to go over it twice with my dilution ratio that i have but yeah that'd be the way to go right here so you guys make up the decision on your own and uh i told you my opinion uh at least this isn't too bad in price ten dollars but this big one right here is only like five six dollars right there so that's a big difference you get uh 67 ounces and this and only 16 in that and you can dilute this so basically if you dilute it half and half you know you have two of these and but uh whatever you guys like but that's my opinion on it and i'll have a little bit left and i'll finish it up will i buy this again uh honestly no i wouldn't buy it again um it was worth trying out i'm not saying you guys not to buy it it's all up to you if you want to try it out but that's my opinion on that 
I would just go with this or there's another uh, tire wheel cleaner that I really like um, that'd be it for a, a different video but uh, this winter too I have an idea on a couple of videos where just I'll uh, I'll talk about products like detail sprays uh, which ones I like each one the purpose of each one a detail spray stuff like that spray waxes and that'd be one video and then i'll have a video on something like wheel cleaners tire cleaners and only on the products that i have i will not uh give a opinion on a product that i didn't have not used and there's plenty of them that i haven't used so i figure throw that in there so you have something to look forward to in the winter and if you like what you see here don't forget to um yeah subscribe like and comment and comment what's your favorite wheel tire cleaner or what do you think about these two products so there we go and i gotta wash the truck and then when i wash the truck i will wash the wheels again with just the soap um to kind of get inside the barrel a little bit and because it's going to be wet anyway but you can kind of see they're pretty good i mean the way i'm looking at it right now the way what we use these two products and you're going to do this before you hand wash your car uh, you have a separate uh separated uh mitt that i don't use for the paint and i would wash the wheels again and they would look even better after uh when you wash them again but at least all the brake dust and all that the bad stuff's gone so yep all that bad stuff's gone and then you're good to go and so i will wash them with soap and water when i wash the truck getting it ready for uh full detail all right guys so yeah don't forget like comment and subscribe you guys have a great one get out there and clean those rides before it starts snowing which we're gonna get a lot this year all right later